Hello and welcome back to the Scottish History Playlist from Scottish Independence Podcasts. Last week we brought you some footage from the Wallace Stone, one of several Neolithic markers on Sheriff Muir. This week we're back again. Jumping forward another couple of thousand years, we come to the Beltane Stone. Prominent stone on this spot, which old maps called the Carling Stone, or Witch's Stone, or sometimes the Beltane Stone. It's reckoned this was a Neolithic Age stone from about 2500 BC. And here is the stone. Just about tripped over the ground. The Gathering Stone was cleared in 1985. Somebody Wilson? So, yeah, in memory of Laurie Boyd Wilson by his widow. Ah. But they must, they must have known it was here, though, to know yeah, to. Yeah. And that, that's the thing with these. We've just been to Sheriff Muir, uh, the Wallace Stone, and those stones are Bronze Age, not landscape. People keep coming back to it time and time again. And this is the same. This is an old, old stone. Just a convenient landmark, I suppose, for our gathering. It's a pile of stones under an old iron grill. In 1715, at the time of the battle, there were no trees on Sheriff Muir. And actually, if you look at it just now, that is no longer the case, including a lot that have been cut down. I mean, it's beautiful, but you can't imagine it being a battle site. The monument of the Battle of Sheriff Muir. On this moor, on the 13th of November 1715, a Jacobite army composed largely of Highlanders under the command of the Earl of Mar met a Hanoverian army consisting mainly of regular British soldiers under the Duke of Argyll at what has become known as the Battle of Sheriff Muir. The result was indecisive, but Mar's failure to take advantage of Argyll's weakened position in the closing stages of the conflict and subsequent withdrawal from the field contributed to the failure of the rising known as the Fifteen in favour of the restoration of the exiled King James VIII, the Old Chevalier. And this monument was erected by the 1745 Association. And also a large monument erected to Clan Macrae. The writing on the monument is a bit weathered, a bit difficult to see now, but it records the Clan Macrae from the Kintail and Loch Elsh companies. They fell almost to a man. Skip forward another 200 years, and in World War II, expecting invasion, Hitler ordered the construction of a massive series of defences along Europe's coastline. The key element of these defences was the infamous Atlantic Wall, designed to repel tanks. These were constructed from reinforced concrete. Now, using plans smuggled out of occupied Europe, replicas of the wall were built, and the biggest and best pre preserved one is to the north of Dunblane, in what was a top-secret research and training ground. This was used to both work out how to blow up the wall and also to train troops for the invasion using live fire training. Troops in training were landed on the road and told that that was the coastline, that was the beach, and then they had to work out how to fight their way up past the hole. And there's several different designs left. I mean, they're obviously in a state of some disrepair now, but you can get a clear idea of what it must have been like. That's reinforcing the country, isn't it? Yeah, and what happens through time is that the rods begin to rust, and they kind of explode the concrete bit by bit, mm. and it deteriorates. Well, you can see that... If you look in the first wall on the left, mm. you see the dimpling on it. Yeah. That's shuttering. So they would use corrugated iron. And, um, they would literally pour the concrete here into these shuttered off area. Huh? So this was literally, the concrete was moved in here into these shuttered sides and poured in with the iron rods already in it. Oh, see. Yeah, it's sticking the iron rod that were peeled both fell by barbed wire. And is this to pretend you're going in a tank? No, I think it's probably a relic of some kind. Uh, you could spin your gun round 
Yeah. Right. That would give you a free sixty here. Yeah. So from that gun a free sixty and shit. It's wrong with your plan. Then he said they might call you perfect. Oh well, the perfect space. Pop one on the top there. I can go even play the game, but you might show me that. No, I don't do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the wall here, the coils of iron are twisted at the front, and that's deliberate bit barbed wire. Nothing they've got to do is overwhelm the barbed wire. They'll never get up and over it until they destroy the barbed wire. Well, it's got all that, but you'll see all the various holes in it from all the armaments that have been fired at. Bazooka, plank rounds, artillery, with me, but it's on its own. Oh. Well, a different caliber of weaponry. I have my coal here. Well, it's just barbed wire we've been doing. Oh, yeah. But down here, there'll be all sorts of debris from ammunition. Look at that one. Black. Yeah, look, it's almost all the way through that one. When you look at the quality of the concrete, it's made of various sizes of pebbles. Yeah. It's a very good shape of concrete. So is this the actual Atlantic Wall then? So, or is it just a bit really, of it? You know, the invasion yeah. defences, but this is a section of the wall itself. Mm. I don't know if that camber that's on it was deliberate. I don't know. I mean, you see, see the bottom of it? That sort of... Um... Aye, they would just be throwing them in, yeah. It's another one of those localities that seems to have been returned to again and again and again. You can easily imagine that just the, the panorama of the, the hills around and the long views, it just feels like a special place. There's evidence there still that it was a special place right back in 5,000 years BC. So thanks for watching everybody and check out our history playlist.